What's happening guys, I'm TechStores. Welcome to another unboxing video. Today's video is gonna be quite possibly the most exciting unboxing yet. We have a little over 70 boxes to open up. So I think this is gonna be the longest and biggest unboxing I've shot on the channel. I am losing my breath right now. But yeah guys, super excited to dig in these boxes and see what kind of stuff they sent me. So you guys also might be wondering why I'm wearing a Santa hat. Well, it's because it's about to be Christmas here at the Texas headquarters and also Christmas is around the corner. So I thought, why not be festive and cringy at the same time? So yeah, guys, I'm done rambling. Let's dive in. Who here needs a new gaming desk or a gaming chair? I'm sure the answer is yes for a lot of you. And if that's the case, keep listening. For the first time ever, the sponsor of today's video is also hosting a giveaway as well on one of their gaming desks and chairs. One of my favorite desks from them is the Eagle 2. It has this sleek carbon fiber texture on the top surface, measuring about 55 inches wide and about 25 inches deep, which is big enough to support up to dual monitors and your PC. Investing in a sturdy desk is really important as it holds all of your expensive gear. And the seat knows this, hence why their desk is made out of carbon steel tubes and ABS. The desk also comes with a headphone hanger and a cable rack, so if you're bad at cable management, this should give you an easy way out. As far as the gaming chairs go, I gotta say, they have quite the collection here. And the seat is an ex-manufacturer of BMW racing car seats, so they insist on using the same fine leather on all of their gaming chairs. Trust me, your back and butt cheeks will thank you later. To learn more, click the link below and join our Discord server for details on the giveaway. All right, you guys know how we do it over here. We're gonna start off with the small boxes and make our way towards the bigger boxes, which usually have the juicy stuff. And I say usually because sometimes there has been some juicy products in the smaller boxes as well. So you never really know anymore. So I'm gonna start off with this little box I had sitting around the corner for about a month now. And I know what this is, so I'm not gonna pretend to be excited or anything. I like to give it to you guys raw. Let me rephrase that. I like to give it to you guys straight with no BS. So I did order a new phone from T-Mobile. And you guys have to realize how patient I have to be to have this sitting in the corner of the office for about a month, knowing what's inside the box. But yeah, this is um, the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. I had to actually read the model because I completely forgot what I ordered. This is gonna be replacing my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Ooh, yes. Finally, I get to hold you. Oh man, that is so beautiful. What capacity did I go with? I completely forgot. Oh, the 128 gigabyte capacity, which is more than enough for me. Isn't it crazy that this year is almost over, you guys? In a few weeks, it'll be 2021. That's insane. This whole year has been nothing but a buzzkill, to be honest. We've got some Apex noise canceling earbuds from Cohen. Cohen again. Oh my God, these guys were the MVP in the last unboxing video. Remember how many headphones they sent me? That is insane. Looks like they're not done sending me free stuff. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is tiny, okay. So these are a pair of truly wireless earbuds with built-in noise canceling and Bluetooth 5.0. These are actually not that bad in terms of comfort. They do go inside the ear an interesting way compared to other earbuds, but yeah, they're pretty comfortable. Let's check out the sound quality real quick. Not bad. The audio does sound pretty clear, but it's definitely lacking in the low end. These are not bass heavy headphones whatsoever. So these normally go for 50 bucks. So they're more on the budget side of earbuds and there is a 20% off code. So you can get them for 40 bucks. I don't know if the code is gonna be active by the time you guys are watching this video, but I would say they're pretty decent for the price. But I just find it interesting that it says sound deep bass when that is not the case. I did not hear any deep bass on these earbuds. So I don't know what's up with that. I think the coolest feature of these earbuds is definitely the active noise canceling. And I feel like their entire brand of audio gear features noise canceling technology, which is pretty cool. You can completely block out the outside noise with these and get lost in your music, or you can just enable the transparent mode, which enables you to control the amount of ambient sound coming into your headphones. Basically, you can continue listening to your music while being aware of your surroundings. And this feature is only available on the Apex Pros, but these are the, uh, the regular Apex versions from Cohen. By the way, thank you guys for setting this in. All right, moving right along. As you guys know, any extra gear I get in this video will be tossed on the prize pool and they'll be given out to my subscribers on Discord. So what do we got? Oh, some stuff from Crucial. So this probably might be Crucial stuff too. So let's open this one up as well. Yes, it is indeed. Oh, we got the P5. It's a two terabyte 
NVMe based M.2 SSD looking very nice. And we got a couple of memory sticks. We got three sets of 32 gigabyte kits running at 3600 megahertz. And then we have a 64 gigabyte kit at 3200 megahertz. As you guys know, if you go with Crucial Ballistics memory, then you can rest assured that they are compatible with Ryzen platforms because they test each stick individually to make sure it's not only optimized, but it's also compatible on Ryzen systems. As most of you already know, Infinity Fabric works best with 3600 megahertz CL16 memory. Crucial's 3600 modules are all CL16 for maximum Infinity Fabric performance at a one-to-one -one ratio. You can expect to see these in future PC builds on the channel, but we do have some extra kits, so why not? add one of these to the giveaway pool. Let's go ahead and add the 32 gigabyte kit in the giveaway pool. Thank you so much, Crucial, for sending these in. Thank you so much, Crucial, for sending these in. Made a huge mistake. Uh, so clearly those were sent by Crucial for a giveaway. All the RAM sticks, not a single one of that I was supposed to keep. So we're gonna be adding all of that to the giveaway pool along with any other Crucial memory sticks that we get later in this video. Carry on. Moving right along. Got some more flat packages. Oh, what? We have some more memory from Crucial. What? Two more 64 gigabyte kits at 3200 megahertz. Oh my God. Okay, you, you guys are now spoiling me at this point. Thank you so much for sending this in. All right, we got two packages to my PO box. I don't get that many things sent to my PO box. So let's see what these are about. These guys again, <laughs> they just keep sending me stuff. ID cooling, back at it again with some more PC parts. These sent me, oh, it looks like their new cooling matrix, a 240 millimeter cooling matrix in black and in white. I, I feel like I gotta do an all ID cooling themed PC build one of these days. Thank you guys so much for sending this in. This leaves one more for my PO box. Backbone transforms your iPhone into a next level gaming device. So it looks like it's a, um, a controller for my phone. Maybe I can use it to play uh, Raid Shadow Legends. Not that I need a controller to play that game, but you know, this is interesting. I've actually never heard of this brand before. Backbone. Snap in. Oh, it's retractable. This is cool, okay. Might have to give this a shot one of these days. Thank you, um, Backbone or Whatever the company name is for saying this in, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely check it out, thank you. We got a package from Corsair. By the way, if you guys celebrate Christmas, I wanna wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you guys haven't set any goals for yourself for 2021, now's the time. You know, grab a piece of paper or a notepad, whatever, just write some goals down, whether it's professionally or personally. Let's try to make 2021 a better year than this year. Oh yes! Mm contain the excitement. This is just the beginning. We got um, oh, my favorite RAM sticks of all time. Dominator Platinums, baby. 3600 megahertz, 32 gigabyte kit. Oh yes, just in time. Just in time. This looks like a mouse pad box. I'm just gonna assume there's a mouse pad in here. Yes, there is. Oh, this is actually sick. I don't wanna touch it with my nasty hands. Yo. It's a custom tech source mouse pad with our old logo in the corner there. Mouse pad company, you guys killed it with this design. I know it's kind of like a preset design you guys have and you added my logo in the corner, but this is gonna look so sick in my upgraded setup coming in December or late December, I should say. Thank you guys so much for sending this in. The quality on this mouse pad though is really, is really good, damn. Let's face it, you guys, my current mouse pad is complete garbage. So this is this is a worthy upgrade. What should I open up next? Oh my God, there's so many boxes that are the same size. All right, we got something from somewhere. Oh, it says G-Skill. Yep, G-Skill. Probably RAM, maybe? Can it be their new RAM? Can it be? Oh, we got a few Tridents. Nice. Trident Z Neos are in the house, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a 64 gigabyte kit and a 32 gigabyte kit running at 3600 megahertz. Oh, I haven't used any G-Skill Trident RAM in any of my builds, so I think it's time for a change. Thank you guys so much for sending this in, by the way. Moving right along. Today's a good day. And we've only opened up, what, five boxes? 
I gotta, I gotta save my voice, actually. Oh, what? World of Warcraft Edition? <laughs> what? From Blue? This is sick! Hold up. Man, I used to be such a WoW nerd back in the day. Orc Warrior main tank for my guild. Server first, the Oxaron. Those are the good old days. Good old days indeed. This is so cool. Oh, this microphone looks like something that belongs in a treasure chest. Look at this paint job on here. Hello. This is sick. This is bling up. So this is the new World of Warcraft edition of the Blue Yeti X microphone. We actually gave out um, three of these microphones on our Discord server. And if you guys are watching this video, congrats again. So this is essentially a Blue Yeti X microphone with a different paint job and some added features. It has this custom battle gray matte finish with gold accents and the official World of Warcraft logo on here. But what I think is the coolest feature of this microphone is the HD audio samples they included with the microphone. You can entertain your stream with hundreds of HD samples from Shadowlands and the Warcraft universe, which I think is pretty cool. Here are a few samples of that. Here's a sample of me talking into the Blue Yeti microphone. Here's a sample of me talking into the Blue Yeti microphone. Here's a sample of me talking into the Blue Yeti microphone. When the Banshee shattered the helm, it tore a gaping wound through the veil between our world and the Shadowlands. For Azeroth. For the Horde. All right, this is the next biggest box. Oh, what? This is cool. It's got my logo on there. I should say the old logo. We, uh, we do have a new logo. Oh, this is sick. You got a black hat? That's looking really clean, actually. This is awesome. Who sent this to me? There's no name on there, so... Whoever it was, thank you so much. Oh, there's even some, um, some vinyl or stickers. I'm not sure what this is exactly. They're my logo. Let's try it on, shall we? I'm not a hat guy, guys, at all, but... I don't know, how do I look? <laughs> Maybe backwards? Maybe too douchebaggy? I don't know. I think I look better with the, um, with the front like that. Maybe on the side. Is this still a thing? Are the, cool, are the cool kids still doing this or no? Let me see who sent this over actually. Okay, so this is Gianni's dad, aka Sky, who's an active member on my Discord server. He's actually the person who won the VRLA uh, gaming PC, if you guys remember. And I guess their dad wanted to show appreciation and make a custom hat for me. That's pretty cool. I'll, gi I'll give him a shout out because I do appreciate the gesture. So apparently he's a designer that makes custom premium gear for his clan. So if you guys want to pick up any apparel with custom logo or design, make sure to check out his IG. I'll drop a link to it down below. Thank you so much for sending this in. I'm going to rock this on the weekends when I'm going out. Let's go with this one. Why not? I know it's not the next biggest box, but it's still a box nonetheless. We have yet another B550 Auras Elite version two. I guess it's just an updated version of the Elite. Um, we're actually gonna be giving this away as well. So including with the, uh, the giveaway pool from last month, we're gonna be adding another Elite motherboard. Thank you Auras for sending it in. All right, I think the boxes are finally starting to get bigger. Oh, we got some Lee and Lee fans. These aren't the new Uni fans, but... So these are their um, their previous RGB fans that they sent me because they're out of the new white Uni fans. So I'm going to be using this in a pretty cool white build inside the Lee and Lee dynamic. Thank you guys for sending this in. We have not seen a graphics card yet, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I forgot my wish list again. I keep forgetting to add that. So wish list in this video would be... RTX 3090 would be nice. It's been a while since I've unboxed one of those, or licked for that matter. And maybe an RX 6800 XT would be nice, but I'm not holding my breath. I swear, if I find out who, who packages these boxes? I'm gonna come over to your house and remove the thermal paste off your CPU. This looks like a, a gift box of some sort. Oh, I, I take back what I said earlier. Um, thank you so much, whoever this was. 
that sent it over. Oh, it's a, there's a ribbon, okay. This is cool. We sincerely hope our Fly Nova Pro can bring your audience more joy. Fly Nova, what is this? I legit thought these were like Christmas ornaments when I first saw it. <laughs> what is this? What on earth is going on here? Scare the crap out of me, dude. Oh, what? There he goes. <laughs> this was actually pretty cool. Hold on, let's try this again. Okay, there's obviously a way you can like write these. I don't, I don't get it. How do you drive this thing? Oh, what? Yo, this is sick. All right, well, that's enough fun for me. This is, uh, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun with this later tonight. Thank you guys so much for selling this cool gift. That was pretty cool. All right, what do we got next? These are both from the same place, it looks like. An electric toothbrush. Are you kidding me right now? Guys, these are the type of gifts that I'm actually most excited about because it's stuff that I can use every single day. I'm guessing this is another one. One for me, one for the wifey, perhaps? Yes, yes it is. Oh, nice. I actually had no idea on what to get my wife this Christmas, so you know what? Just in time, Earl B. Thank you so much for sending this in. I'll open up mine, but I gotta hide the other one so she doesn't see it. It's funny because we're actually using an Oral B toothbrush already. We've been using it for about two years, and I think this is their new version that they sent me. Oh, I look so good. I'm loving this clean black aesthetic of this one. Way more cooler than my current toothbrush. Even the charger's cooler. I think it's magnetic. Oh my God, that is so <laughs> cool. Look at this. That is so sick. I'm so excited over a damn toothbrush, but man, this is this is awesome. Oh, it even has a, an LCD screen on here. That is pretty, pretty cool. So this toothbrush can actually warn you if you're brushing your teeth too short. There is a built-in timer that can help you track how long you're brushing for. That is pretty cool. My wife is absolutely gonna love this. That was a, the easiest Christmas for me, actually. Thank you guys so much at Oral-B for sending this in. All right, we got a box from Asus. <gasps> could it be? Could it be, ladies and gentlemen? It is in the shape of you know what? You know what? <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta stop uh, getting so hyped because if it's not what it is, what I think it is, I'm gonna get disappointed. An RX 6800. Is it the XT version? No, it's an X6800. Oh man, this is the Strix one as well. That is beautiful. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Let's open you up. This is my first ever Strix card from Asus. They've been sending me nothing but tough cards. So it's nice to, uh, nice to have a change of pace. You are huge. For a 6800, you are huge. What have they been feeding you, my boy? Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this behemoth. This is 6800? Could have fooled me. God damn. If the 6800 is this big, I wonder how the 6900 XT is gonna look like or feel like. Damn. You are hefty, but you're sexy. You have to put your sexy. Oh, I'm gonna put you to good use. Oh, I'm loving this design actually. Looking really clean. All right, let's put you back in the box. For now, Asus, I love your toenails. Thank you so much. Seriously, for sending this in. You guys are awesome. I'm already happy. I'm already happy with this unboxing video. And we still have 20 or so, 30 or so boxes.
Yeah, baby! Oh! This did not even cross my mind. The vision! Oh my god! Oh my god! Isn't that a thing of beaut? Gigabyte's only white graphics card. RTX 3080. Oh man, I, I can I can dig. I can dig this man. This is sick. Got this nice aluminum brushed shroud with white and silver accents. I wish they made the uh, the shroud or the backplate white as well. But if you mount it vertically, I think it'll look a lot better. You know, this would actually look really good in the uh, the white lead lead build I'm doing. This actually changes things. I was not expecting this card. Holy crap. Gigabyte, thank you so much for sending this card over. Oh my God. I'm loving this episode. I think this is my favorite unboxing as of yet. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Two in a row. That never happens. That actually never happens. Oh, we got some more blue microphones. No actual way. We got the blue Yeti X and the Yeti Nano, ladies and gentlemen. This is the um, the original version, not the World of Warcraft version. Oh, these are awesome. Thank you guys so much for sending this in. I might have to use this in a setup video or something. You guys are awesome, thank you. Oh, we got a bunch of peanuts. I don't really like these types of boxes. Um, I feel like peanuts are very old school. Who still uses peanuts? <gasps> oh, what? We have an RTX 3070 from Zotac. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I don't think I've received a Zotac card in forever. I don't have a single Zotac card on my shelf. So this is actually, this is awesome. Hold up. Let's open it up. Oh, it's already open. What? Is this used? Get amplified. Oh, this is a cute card. Look at this interesting design. It's very flat. It's a very flat graphics card. Very low profile, I should say. Oh, this is adorable. I kind of don't like how recessed the, um, the eight pin PCI connectors are. They're really deep in there, but gotta give this card a try for sure. Thank you so much Zotac for sending this in. This has to go in like a budget build or something. At this point, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably mad and you know, cursing me out of the comment section. This guy's getting all the GPUs when we're out here trying to find one ourselves. And I understand the frustration, you guys, but I'm not getting these cards sent to me because they like the way I shape my mustache. They're given to me in exchange for essentially work, right? Like they're not giving this to me for free. They're expecting something in exchange. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'll be making videos off these cards. And making videos takes days, sometimes even weeks to produce. So there's a lot of work that goes into my videos. I know you guys probably don't understand. Maybe that'll make some of you guys out there feel a little better. We're not getting this for free. Every YouTuber, myself including, are getting these in exchange for work. All right guys, I think we are up to the big boxes now. Literally the rest of these 15 boxes or so are around this size, if not bigger. So now we're getting into the juicy stuff. What is that noise? Can you guys hear that? Every time my neighbor flushes the toilet, the sewage goes through these pipes. So I know every time the person takes a dump or takes a piss. It is frustrating sometimes. Thank you. All right, let's continue. Oh, okay, hold up. Hold up, I thought this was something else. This is actually even better. We got the new blocks for the 30 series cards, you guys. Oh, the new Vector Quantum Series. I should say Quantum Vector Series for the 3080 and 3090. Oh man. We got a GPU block for the Founders, RTX 3080 and 3090. And then we got the same block for the tough version of the 3080 and 3090. Project Blue, that's all I'm gonna say. Project Ice Blue. Thank you so much EK for sending these in. So these are both from EK as well, judging by the uh, obvious EK logo on the side. So why not open these up together? Oh, that is nice. Oh, that thing is massive. This is EK's new AIO Elite 360 AIO, which I'm assuming 
is also in this box. Yep, we got two. You know what that means. Let's go ahead and add one of these to the giveaway pool, please. One of the cool things about this AIO is that it comes with six of their Vardar fans. So you can do a push and pull configuration. But yeah, super excited to put this in the build. Thank you so much, EK, for sending this in. I think this is the next big box. i am actually, I don't even know anymore. Something's loose in here. Oh no! I'm not even kidding you guys. Look how the box came. It's opened. I'm, I'm pretty sure this, this crap is card is damaged. There's no packaging. Look, it's just a card in there. There's no like bubble wrap or anything. That does not sound healthy. Jesus Christ. The Supreme X from MSI. I should be excited, but I'm more scared. I'm assuming something's broken in here, but it actually it just looks like some of the stuff came out. GPU is nicely seated still inside there. Did they send a mouse pad? This is the first time I've seen a Gravis card come with a mouse pad. That's actually pretty cool. Very thoughtful of MSI to do that. Oh man, this is such a good looking card. I love the Supreme series from MSI. Oh man, that is huge. I'm assuming this is a GPU sag bracket. You hook this up in the back and it's supposed to hold your Gravis card in place. I feel like a lot of these new 30 series cards will have to come with a GPU sack bracket because these things are hefty, you guys. Oh, MSI, thank you so much for sending this in. I gotta get to work. There's a lot of builds that I need to do. It's gonna be a very busy, very busy month. I'm actually digging their new packaging too. Really nice. We got another one that looks the same as the previous box. Could it be? <laughs> Could it be? My heart is pounding. If that was a 3080, could it be? <sighs> let, me take a, let me take a breath real quick. <sighs> Still excited. I just thought it was a 3090, but it's a 3060 Ti. Was not expecting you guys to send in any of these, so I'm very grateful. Thank you so much, MSI, for sending these in. All right, moving right along. That was probably a bad idea. I have to clean all that up now. Oh no, no, <laughs> why did I do that? Oh, okay. Oh, we got the uh, the Everest Max keyboard, ladies and gentlemen. This is the keyboard everyone has been talking about. There's a lot of hype surrounding this keyboard. Let's open this up. Oh, we got two keyboards, okay. You know, let's, already, let's put one of these in the giveaway pool since they're kind enough to send them to. So let's put one of these to the side. Take a closer look at this keyboard. Oh, very nice. The packaging in this keyboard is really nice, I have to say. So there's actually been quite the hype surrounding these new mountain peripherals, specifically the Everest Max keyboard and their Macalu 67 now. So let's put this one aside. I wanna get into that keyboard in a little bit, but let's take a look at their Macalu 67 gaming mouse first. So they sent over a white one and a black one. Let's go ahead and put the black one in the, uh, the giveaway pool. Let's take a closer look at the white one real quick. Finally, a company taking a different approach to that. We got this really cool rib cage design, which personally I think I prefer better over the honeycomb design. But the mouse also features the Pixar 3370 sensor with up to 19,000 DPI. It didn't go overboard with the RGB either. It has this subtle accent lighting around the mouse wheel and the DPI button. Overall, a really cool design. And of course, you know, it's, it's super light. It weighs about 67 grams, so not as light as the Model O mouse that I'm using back at home, but still fairly light. Let's put you back in the box and take a closer look at this. This is actually more interesting to me. I think one of the biggest selling points of this keyboard and why it's so different compared to every other keyboard in the market is the modularity design of it. You can attach parts to the keyboard and kind of customize it to, you know, to fit your needs. It has essentially three parts that you can swap, a wrist rest, a numpad, and a media clock with a display dial that you can customize to show useful information. Even a numpad has a set of display keys that you can program across five memory profiles, giving you up to 20 personalized keys to use. And you can also decide what side to connect the numpad, which I think is really cool. Now the keyboard does come with a variety of Cherry MX switches you can choose from, but they are hot swappable, so you can actually go with any switch type you want. 
Now the Everest does come in three options. The Max, which includes all the attachments that you see here. Then we have the Everest Core, which is just the TKL keyboard without the attachments. And then the Bare Bones, which doesn't include the switches and the keycaps. So you can customize it the way you want from the ground up. I feel like these guys thought of everything when it comes to building the perfect keyboard. Even the cable channels in the back of the keyboard are well thought out. Look at this. You get so many options of routing the keyboard wire and they even took into account the detachable modules. I can get lost in this keyboard and honestly spend another 30 minutes talking about it, but uh, I'm gonna move on for the sake of time. And if you guys wanna see a full dedicated video on this, let me know in the comment section below. But thank you so much Mountain for sending these in. All right, we got the big boy boxes now. Things are getting interesting. Okay, you got some peripherals. HyperX hooking it up. Oh yes, the new Cloud 2 wireless. I've been dying to try these headphones out. Oh, that is so awesome. We got the new mouse. We got a, uh, an RGB mouse pad and their keyboard, the Alloy 2 Elite. I gotta check all these out. Well, let's, uh, let's open up the small box first. So we got a set of 16 gigabytes of their non-RGB Fury RAM sticks. And then we got their Predators. Total of eight sticks, 32 gigabytes, running at 3,600 megahertz. These are awesome. Thank you so much, HyperX, for hooking me up. Let's take a closer look at the peripherals, actually. We got their HyperX Pulse Fire Haste Honeycomb Gaming Mice. Pretty cool. We got the Cloud 2 Wireless. Let's take a look and see how comfortable these really are. Oh, these are super light. Oh, I can sleep in these. I can sleep in these headphones. They are so damn light. How do you guys do this every single time? Oh, these are very comfortable. Okay, let's put you back in there. I'm sure my hair is a mess, so let me, let me put this hat back on so I don't get roasted in the comments. Let's check out this keyboard real quick. The Alloy Elite Shoe. Mechanical keyboard with pudding style keycaps. Really nice, okay. It's a pretty heavy keyboard, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you so much, HyperX, for sending these in. I think I've officially lost my voice. Holy keyboards. We got some Yunzi, Yunzi keyboards. We got a lot, holy crap. Oh, I wonder which ones they sent me. My current keyboard is actually from Yunzi as well. They sent the same keyboard. What? This is, this is the exact same keyboard I'm using right now. It kind of feels different. It's actually a lot lighter. I know they have new RGB versions of this keyboard. If you guys remember in my, um... oh, this is the RGB version. Look, you guys. If you guys remember in my review of this keyboard, at the end of the video, I specifically asked for a backlit version. And look what they sent me. The RGB version of the SP84. Oh, this is, this is going in my setup, you guys. This is actually going in my setup. Let me open up the rest of this actually and see what else they sent me. I know they have a few other versions of this. Oh, they got the black base one. Check this out. That is sick. That is actually sick. Same exact color scheme, except the base is black on this one. This is also lighter. This is much more lighter than my current keyboard. Please tell me they send in the white version. The white one I feel like looks the cleanest. Nope, another black one. Another red one, another red one. Four more chances, please, let there be a white one, please. Uh, is this the white? <laughs> oh, this is it actually, yeah, this is it. Oh, look at this. That is super gorge. Even the cable is in white. Let me plug this one in actually. This looks really clean, you guys. I'm actually digging the white base. It's just that these keycaps, they're not side printed like the originals. The one with the black base is side printed. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap the keycaps from here and put them on the white base. I think it will look so much better and it will match my color scheme a lot better as well. So we actually have multiples of every single color. We got the black base, the red base, and the white base. So let's go ahead and put all the keyboards, minus one or two of them in the giveaway pool. Thank you so much UZ for sending this in. I can't wait to use this new keyboard in my new setup next month. All right, guys, we are down to our seven biggest boxes currently in the office. Let's do this. Oh, I shouldn't have done it that way. I did not know there were GPUs in here. Jesus Christ. It's the 6800 XT, which was on my wish list. Yes, this is going to be going inside an all AMD build. I can already taste it. I can already taste it. And of course, we got the, uh, the 6800 non-XT version, which will be going more of a... More in a budget build, actually. Oh, let me open this one up, actually. 
I already got big plans for you, baby. Oh my God. Look how clean this graphics card looks. Personally, I don't like the uh, the red outline on this graphics card. Amy's color scheme is black and orange, so I'm not sure why they're going with red just for the graphics card. I wish there was some consistency, but either way, super stoked to use this card in the build. Thank you guys so much at AMD for sending this in. Oh, I can rest in peace. Ah, whew, I'm starting to work out. I need to get a new knife, man. This, this is not working out for me anymore. It is, it is. I think it's a peripheral episode, to be honest. <laughs> oh, 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 oh man, who are these people? Ghost? Have you guys heard of Ghost? I haven't. 60% keyboards left and right. We got some in white, we got some in black. Hallelujah. We got some more honeycomb gaming mice. Who doesn't like some more honeycomb gaming mice? Also in white and black, it looks like. This is not gonna end well, but I'll be quick. Let's toss. All right, let's toss everything minus one keyboard and mouse of each color into the giveaway pool. So these are the new keyboard and mice from a company called Ghost. They actually make a really nice set of 60% RGB mechanical keyboards. The white ones have this really cool silver base with the white keycaps. I think these look a lot better, but they also have an all black version as well. You can choose between Cherry MX RGB switches in red, brown, or blue, and they are all double shot PBT keycaps with the stabilizers that come pre-lubed as well. That's pretty cool. And then we got their Ghost Mouse, another honeycomb design, a light gaming mouse with RGB lighting. This one weighs actually around 65 grams and features the PixArt sensor with up to 12,000 DPI. Very nice. I actually can't wait to test some of these out. They're looking pretty cool. Thank you so much everyone at Ghost for sending these in. My subscribers are gonna love these. Uh, you guys already know what's inside this box. VR LA Tech. You've seen that brand before in a previous unboxing video. And this box is shaped like a PC case, so I'm sure you guys have deduced what this is. As if sending two awesome pre-built PCs wasn't enough, it looks like they're sending in another one. Oh, packaging is really good. Oh, nice. I wonder what specs we got this time. Sheesh. Damn, that's looking good. We have an RTX 3070 graphics card. Okay, I'm liking the sound of that. Oh, they do such really good builds, honestly. Look how clean that is. The craftsmanship of these VRLA PCs are fantastical. I'm gonna assume the processor is a 3600, but let me go ahead and boot this up and double check. Ooh, those fans. Even the CPU cooler is RGB, that is awesome. So I actually lied, there's a 3700X in here. It's an eight core, 16 thread processor. We had 16 gigs of RAM and the new EVGA RTX 3070. That's awesome. So I'm sure you guys have heard of VRLA Tech at this point. They sent in a few of their pre-builds in a previous unboxing video and I actually gave one of them away to a member on my Discord server who thankfully is still there. He didn't take the PC and book it, so that's that's awesome to hear. You know, it's really easy to go on the website and read their reviews or you know do some research on their system, but I'm the type of person who likes to hear from the person's mouth or experience it myself. And the fact that Gianni's been having uh, nothing but positive experiences with his pre-built is enough to tell me that these guys definitely know what they're doing. And because of that, I do feel confident in recommending their systems. These guys have been professionally making enterprise grade servers and workstation PCs for the longest time and recently made the jump into gaming. They brought over their professionalism and trust from the enterprise market and strive to be the best priced pre-built company on the market. They stick to only quality components and name brands and they build each PC with care, which obviously shows, I mean, look how clean their system looks. Building a custom PC is obviously more cheaper and fun, but not everyone has the time or patience for it. That is why there's always a huge market for pre-built PCs. And these guys at VRLA Tech keep their margins at a minimum, and they believe that they are better priced than other pre-built companies out there. I know this year has been very crappy for a lot of you guys out there, so I've decided to give this PC away. After all, I'm wearing a Santa hat, so it only makes sense. So let's go ahead and toss this PC in the giveaway pool. Whoever wins this system, I hope it makes your year just a little bit better. You know, uh, VRLA Tech did not sponsor this video. They didn't pay me to say that or give this PC away. 
Um, I think it's only fair I do something nice for you guys, considering all the amazing support you've shown me throughout this entire year. But of course, I want to thank VRLA Tech for sending in the PC, because without it, obviously, there would be no giveaway. Uh, but if you guys are feeling jolly, consider checking them out. I'll drop a link to them down below and just see what they have to offer, especially if you're after the new 30 series cards, since they do have some PCs equipped with them. You might even end up finding something you like. Oh. Oh. Two massive boxes from the same place. Oh man, that took a lot of energy out of me. I, I don't even know if it's the same thing in both of these, but let's just, let's just figure it out. <laughs> Uh, I might need a new desk after this. Could it be another PC, imagine? Oh, we got some merch. What? In this box? Oh, we got some actual gear too. Oh my god, dude. Just when you think it was over. The next wave, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. We got a PC case in here. Oh my god, this is like a bottomless pit. There's still more gear in here. I'm dropping stuff. This has to be the worst unboxing. Jesus Christ, what am I even doing, man? You would think after like 40 something unboxing videos, I would have mastered the craft. But I am far from it. Let's put these aside real quick and open up this box and see what's in there. And I'll show off everything to you guys. Sharkoon, you guys are mad. Bunch of mad lads. What do we got in lucky box number two? Oh, we got some more gear. Oh, this is actually a new set of gear too. It's not the same. Like, what did you expect was gonna happen? I'm actually into these shades, you guys. Yo, let's go. <laughs> what? Let's go. I literally have zero energy, but this just hyped me up so much. See these sunglasses? God, don't, please, just don't fall anymore, please. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, 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 This mountain of gear, just... Oh. We got two cases, it looks like. <gasps> this is the biggest care package I've ever seen. I've ever gotten, I should say. This tops it off. I don't think anybody can ever come close to Sharkoon. These guys are insane. I have an entire row of peripherals back here that I couldn't fit in the front, you guys. Like, this is absolutely mad that a company would send in this much gear. This is this is the most I've ever gotten. Best believe we're gonna put a lot of these in the giveaway pool. I don't even know how much, but just just dump some of these in the giveaway pool, please. I don't even know where to start. Let's um, let's actually start with the, the merch, okay? What other company out there? Computer electronic company that has merchandise like these. Hats, sunglasses. <laughs> these guys' swag level is off the charts. Oh, this is actually pretty sweet merch. I like this uh, logo. It's got a little uh, Sharkoon logo. They also sent in this travel bag. Pretty cool. And of course, I'm sure you guys have already seen this, the uh, their Sharkoon backpack. This is actually legit. All right, um, let's go over some of this gear, shall we? Actually, first off, I should probably mention who Sharkoon is. So these guys are extremely popular in Europe and they're just making their way into the US market. They're a German company founded in 2003. Now, while many companies come and go, Sharkoon has consistently improved their product line. So I thought this would be a great time to introduce you guys to some of their tech products, which you'll probably see in future videos. So let's start off with their Rush ER30. This is a uh, budget-focused gaming headset with a built-in microphone. It also comes with um, replaceable fabric ear cups. And this is compatible with PC, laptop, and PlayStation 4. Oh, and of course, the most important feature, it's got RGB. Any headsets in 2020 and beyond that don't have RGB is not considered cool, right? Conveniently, they do offer an aluminum headset stand. This actually looks very clean. It's an aluminum, minimalistic headphone stand. All right, let's move on to their keyboard. Oh, this one actually looks pretty cool. This is called the Pure Rider RGB TKL keyboard. So this is a low profile TKL mechanical RGB keyboard with low profile KL switches and either red or blue. I'm actually digging this design. Nice. 
So the top plate is made out of aluminum and it comes with two detachable micro USB cables in different lengths. This is actually very considerate. You can use a small one if you're connecting this to, let's say, a laptop, and you can use the longer one if you're connecting it to your PC. Very cool. This is a pretty big box for a mouse pad, if you ask me. What is this called? The 1337 RGB, <laughs> aka the Elite. Or I should say Elite RGB mouse pad. Oh, this is a very fat mouse pad. So you got the extended version. They do offer um, different sizes, but this is the biggest one that they offer. And they got the uh, RGB border around the edges. Pretty cool. Oh, it says it's water repellent. You know what? Let's test it out. Oh, what? Yo, this is sick. Look at that. You guys got to see this. This is like magic. This is sorcery. What? How do they do that? That is so trippy. That is legit. I feel like every single gaming mouse pad needs to be water repellent because we always eat and drink around our around our mouse pad. So this is a pretty cool feature to have. This is the first mouse pad I've seen. That's water repellent. Look at this. <laughs> what? They're gonna have fun all day with this. All right, let's move on. All right, let's check out their mice. The Light 200 Ultralight Gaming Mouse. Also with the honeycomb design. Honestly, it looks very similar to every other honeycomb mice design out there. Oh, what? This pops off. The cool thing about this mouse is you can actually swap out the uh, the palm cover. So you can go with the solid cover or switch to the honeycomb design if you like. So that's pretty cool. It kind of gives you um, the option to kind of customize it if you like. And you could even swap out the uh, DPI button as well. You got blue, black, and red options. Although I would like to see white maybe in the near future. White would be really cool too. And then we got their wireless gaming mouse, ladies and gentlemen, the SGM3 in four different colors. So they do come in either white, gray, black, or green, but it seems like they sent in only the, uh, the black version of the mice. Um, I kind of like the design of this a lot better compared to the honeycomb ones. Is that weird to say? Kind of digging this uh, clean and minimalistic design of these mice though. And last but not least, we have their regular keyboard called SJK5, the skiller. Oh, skill, killer, kind of cringy. Yo, dude, check out my new skiller keyboard. <laughs> this is really light. I don't think this is mechanical, is it? Nope. This is actually ru rubber dome gaming keyboard with a detachable wrist rest. I think this keyboard is designed for Minecraft players. Aside from the name, it's actually looking like a pretty cool keyboard. It's also fully equipped. I mean, you got everything on here. A nice selection of macro keys up top, three profile keys, and two knobs on the right side that controls both volume and the brightness. On top of that, you get dedicated media control keys on the right and dedicated RGB buttons on the left side. That is actually insane for a budget keyboard like this. Not bad. For a rubber dome keyboard, I gotta say, it's packing some nice features. And then we got two of their cases, the RGB Lit 200 and the RGB Lit 100. Now this is a cool looking case, a full tower with tempered glass panels and this dope looking RGB circuit design in the front and an RGB accent strip on the side. But I think what's gonna separate this case from the competition is the features it comes with for the price. Not only do you get two pre-installed 120 millimeter fans, one of which is RGB, but this case also comes with four port RGB controller pre-installed. This is super convenient because now you can plug in up to four RGB devices on a single hub and have only one cable plug into your motherboard's RGB header. Pretty damn cool. I'm definitely gonna do a budget build using this case. And then we got the RGB Lit 200, which is basically the same exact case, but with a zigzag RGB design in the front panel instead. All right, these next two boxes, or packages I should say, arrived like this with a fragile tape and bubble wrap. So let's start off with the small one, figure out what this is. This is another case, so much work. I think I need to hire a dedicated unboxer. Someone who just comes, takes a product out of the box, and then I take it from there. Anybody interested? Let me know. Oh, this bubble wrap packaging is the worst. Oh, Singularity Computers. <laughs> okay. What is this packaging though, honestly? This is very interesting. So to, sorry, I had to get that, uh, that anger out. <laughs> All right, Singularity Computers. They make cases, in case you haven't noticed. 
Oh, their new Wraith PC case. And it's already assembled. Oh, this looks so cool. Look at this. I've been eyeing their cases for the longest time, you guys. This one in particular caught my attention the most because of its design. So it's interesting that they, uh, that they sent a sample. So this is the Wraith from Singularity. It's a mini ITX case that also fits a mini DTX and has this kind of naked open design. Like everything is in your face. Nothing could be hidden, which is a great thing for PC enthusiasts because you know you have this flexibility to mod the case or the parts how we like without running into any complications. That's one of the things that attracted me to this case originally. All of the outer panels can be quickly removed for easy access and it has this giant distro plate with a D5 pump already included. Maybe I could do like a mini red build. Picture like a white and red water cool system inside this dope case. Give me some ideas guys in the comment section. But either way, I'm gonna do something dope with this case. All right, this next one is clearly from Singularity as well, judging by the packaging. So this case is actually not put together, but it is the new Spectre 2.0. So this is a different type of open air case from Singularity. It's bigger than the Wraith since it supports up to an XL ATX motherboard, but you still get this massive distro plate with a built-in D5 pump. However, this one comes with a PSU shroud in the back. One thing I do want to mention is that all the parts in their cases are carved from a solid block of material on a CNC machine. We're talking aluminum, clear cast acrylic, and stainless steel. You're not getting some cheap flimsy cases here. Also, all of their cases are assembled by hand. Huge shout out to Singularity for sending these cases in. I can't wait to start building in these next year. Ugh. We got one, or I should say two more boxes to go. And in case you guys can't tell what's inside this box, we have a couple of keyboards. Oh, packaging actually is pretty good. Looks like they put the case in a box with bubble wrap and then they put that entire thing in another box, okay. Oh, looks like we have another pre-build, ladies and gentlemen, from light gaming PCs. Let's see what we have inside, shall we? Oh, this case design is pretty cool. We got the side panel on a hinge. Nice. Oh, that is looking pretty sweet. Is that a white AIO? Looks like part of the uh, the tubing over here from the radiator. Oh, whoa, what is that, thermal paste? We got some thermal paste on the um, AIO, but other than that, minor hiccup. The rest of the system's looking pretty clean. Let's turn this on and see what kind of specs we got. Oh, we got some red in here. Interesting uh, color choice. The fan configuration is pretty good. We got three intake for the front radiator and three exhaust. Oh my God, the power supply fan is RGB too. I've seen it all. Ladies and gentlemen, I have seen it all. All right, let's see what we got inside here. CPU is the Ryzen 5 3600. We got 16 gigs of RAM in here with a GTX 1660 Super. So more on the budget side. It's actually interesting. They put a 360 mil rad for the, for the six core 12 thread processor. If you guys remember, I actually featured them in my Black Friday video, and I guess they enjoyed the video because they sent me a, uh, a budget pre-built PC. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give this PC away too. So let's toss this bad boy in the giveaway pool. So in case you guys didn't see the Black Friday video, these guys at Light Gaming PCs are a PC building company that offers a nice selection of PCs. So check this out. Not only do they sell pre-built PCs, but you also have the option to customize or build your very own. You can completely customize the PC you want by selecting each individual part, and you can see the average FPS on the left side of the screen on select titles, or you can pick their build kits, which I think is even more exciting. Whatever kit you select, they'll send you those parts so that you can build it yourself. There are different price points that meets your budget, but what I like most about light gaming is that they're upfront on their pricing. What they pay for parts is what you pay so they don't overcharge you. If you decide on a custom PC, they charge you only a $100 build fee, which I think is reasonable. So whether you guys wanna buy a pre-built or build your very own, definitely check these guys out. I'll drop a link to it down below. Also, huge thanks to Light Gaming for sending this PC out. We are finally down to our last box, you guys. My voice is shot to hell and my throat hurts pretty badly, so I am ready to go and sleep. This is from Corsair, judging by the uh, Corsair label. 
What do we got from you, Corsair? Can we finish up the episode strong? Why do they send everything in a long box like this? Oh, yeah, baby. Come to data. Looks like we have some water cooling gear. Hydro-X series in white. This is gonna be going inside the, um, the ice blue. What did I call it? Blue ice? Ice blue? I'm losing my mind right now. But yeah, huge thanks to Corsair for sending these in. Oh, it's gonna be such a clean build. You guys are gonna love it. You guys are gonna love it. So that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it and wanna see more unboxing videos on the channel like this, then consider dropping a like before you head out. And I'll also leave a link below to all the parts I unboxed. Um, regarding the giveaway, here's a total list of the prize pool that I'll be giving away on my Discord server. Again, guys, I can't stress this enough, but please, if you're gonna join the server for the giveaway, the first thing you should do is read the rules on the top left of the server. Anyone caught breaking the rules will be banned permanently. They won't be able to join back in the server ever. I'm serious about that. So please make sure to read the rules, show my members on their respect, and I will show you respect back. Um, any information regarding the giveaway will be posted in the announcement section, so also check that before you ask in general or before you start bugging my staff team. But that's pretty much it for the video. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much again for the support you've been showing me this entire year. It's been crazy. I'm so excited and hopeful for 2021. I got, uh, I'm just warming up, guys. I'm just starting. Got some big plans. But anyways, I love your faces. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next one. That didn't work. You know what's more fun than unboxing tech? The cleanup afterwards. Here is the current state of my office. Um, this is gonna be fun.